What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to grow a graphic design YouTube channel. So guys, as a graphic designer myself, I found that having a successful YouTube channel is actually very helpful. Also, I see so many designers, including a lot of you guys, that have so much potential making videos, however you just don't. From my personal experience, I found that having a YouTube channel has let me work with a lot of other big YouTubers. As well as that, I believe I've also received a lot more client work in general. As I mentioned in this video, I will be showing you how you can actually grow your own graphic design YouTube channel. Now, I've done videos similar to this in the past, however it's been so long since those and I believe I've gained a lot more useful tips. Also to help me alongside this video I will be collaborating with my friend and also YouTube guru Moz. If you haven't seen his channel already then definitely check it out I will leave a link to it in the description below. Over there he uploads a lot of YouTube tip videos and with over 170,000 subscribers he has a lot of helpful YouTube advice. If you do go on to enjoy the video then make sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated and as well as that maybe subscribe because we we're almost on 50,000 subs. Anyways, we'll begin this video with Moz's tips and mine will follow straight after. So I will see you guys very soon. Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome to my part of this collab video. So before I start off with like my tips for designers and how you guys can actually grow your channels, I do want to give a quick thank you to Visual for letting me on his channel in the first place. We actually made a collab video on my channel like last week talking about like the best fonts for like YouTubers and designers. So in case you guys are interested in that, definitely check that out when you guys are done with this video. But anyways, let me get on with my tips. So the first thing that I want to talk about, and I think this is something that a lot of people mess up on when they're first starting out creating content on YouTube, but it's to make content that you know is actually searchable. And to elaborate on that, I mean make videos that you know people are actually searching for because in reality, any of us can upload whatever we want to to YouTube, but if it's not something that people would actually be searching for, it will be kind of hard for us to get that like initial growth in the first place. Of course, when you are a bigger creator like Visual, for example, you can really upload whatever you want to on your channel, and by then you probably have like developed a actual fan base that will watch your content no matter what you upload. So when you're in that situation, you don't gotta worry about making content that's as searchable, but when you're first starting out, definitely make content that you know people are searching for because that's gonna that's primarily where you're gonna be getting most of your views from like the YouTube search you're not gonna be showing up in people's sub boxes yet because you don't have a ton of subscribers yet so basically like the main point that I'm trying to like key into you guys right now is definitely do whatever you can to make content that you know people are actually gonna be searching for because that's how you're gonna get your initial fan base and that's exactly how visual did it that's exactly how I did it and that's it. honestly exactly how most youtubers did it now moving on from that the next thing that I want to talk about is tags and I know this is a really boring tip in case you guys have seen videos like this before but honestly I'd be lying if I said it wasn't like one of the most important tips that I can give you guys. I've seen a lot of YouTubers, like a lot of YouTubers only put effort into their title and thumbnail, which of course is a good thing to do, but to help you rank higher, you gotta put work into your descriptions and tags as well. YouTube looks through your tags and descriptions and checks them to see if it can find keywords that other people are searching for, and if it does, it will recommend your video to that person, which could in turn give you a new viewer or a new subscriber. Trust me guys, I definitely know how hard and confusing tags can be when you're like first starting out on YouTube. Like for me personally, it took me a couple of years to even learn how tags work, but I'm gonna try to make it as easy for you guys as I can in this video. So essentially, tags are basically the phrases that you want people to be searching for on YouTube or Google when you want your video to actually show up in their search results. So for example, when James and I actually just made like the best fonts video for designers and YouTubers like last week, some of the tags that I did were like best free fonts for Photoshop, um, best free fonts for designers 2019, best free fonts to use for YouTube and things like that. And using those kind of phrases on YouTube has helped my video rank higher whenever people search for things like that. So now looping back to like the first tip I told you guys, make videos that are searchable. In the tags, type in the things that you actually want people to be searching for when you want your video to show up for them, if that makes sense. Now anyways, for my last tip, I wanna talk about first impressions. And since most of you guys watching this are already designers, you know that first impressions obviously mean a lot in the real world, but they mean a ton when it comes to designing as well. When you guys tweet new designs you guys have been working on, you guys try to make them look as nice as you can, and trust me, I get it, you gotta get those likes, and you gotta get those retweets when you guys show up like in someone's feed, but honestly, the same thing applies for YouTube and showing up in like the search results or in someone's sub box. We have pretty low attention spans as humans, so the key is to just capture someone's attention as quick as you can. I see a ton of you guys do it on Twitter all the time, but you gotta do the same thing on YouTube as well. Like, think about it yourself. When you watch a video on YouTube, the first thing that you always see is gonna be the thumbnail. That's just what our eyes catch on to right away, and then right after that, we'll go ahead and look at the title and if it looks better than everything around it, we're probably gonna end up clicking on the video. So basically my two tips right here is make your thumbnail look as eye-catching as you can and straight to the point as you can, and right after that you wanna make sure that your title is concise and easy to skim. If you're like me, then you probably hate reading long titles and you probably hate seeing a bunch of text in a small thumbnail, so just make sure that your first impression with your thumbnail and title is one that you yourself would be intrigued by if you were the viewer who is looking for a video to click on. Anyways guys, that is it for my part of this video. I do want to apologize really quickly if I do talk too fast in like my tips. 
Um, it's just like a bad habit I have in mind. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the tips that I had for you guys. And do want to give Visual a quick thank you once more for letting me on his channel. I'm going to pass it back to him now so that he can finish off the video. But when you guys are done, definitely check out the collab video that we did on my channel a few days ago. But anyways, back to you, James. Kicking things off here with my first tip, we have vary your content. In terms of design videos, I see so many people sticking to the same set of videos, which tends to be speed arts. As I said, I see so many people doing this, so not to worry. Although speed arts are great, you're not really going to find yourself growing as well as if you are varying your content. So therefore, you want to make sure you're uploading as many different types of videos as possible. Although you also want to make sure that you are sticking to that graphic design theme because that's of course why people are subscribed. Examples of different style videos could be tutorials, they could be templates, tip videos, or even like comedy related videos. You can throw those in as well. Say for example, I do the uh, five things that annoy designers series. That's such a successful series on my channel and you guys love it. That video is still graphic design related. However, it stands out from the basic like banner speed up, for example. If you have your own original video ideas, then that is amazing. However, there is no harm in taking someone else's and adding your own spin on it. If you are doing this though, you want to make sure that you give people a reason to click on your video instead of the hundred other ones that are available. Moving on to the next tip here, we have collaborating with others. Now, as long as you don't overdo it, this tip can be very helpful and it will gain you subscribers fast. As a graphic designer, you can collaborate with others very easily, whether that be for a speed art, a uh, tutorial, a template, it really doesn't matter. Chances are you're already friends with someone that you could collab with. It's literally as simple as just messaging them and uh, setting up some sort of plan. A good example of this would be this video because Moz has a lot of useful YouTube advice and therefore he's a good person to include in this sort of video. If you are struggling to find people to collaborate with, I'm more than happy for you to use the comment section down below to find some new people. Just make sure you let people know who you are, what sort of video you want to collab on, and uh, yeah, you can go from there. Okay, so my last and final tip is interacting with your audience. I cannot stress enough how important this tip is and I see so many small creators completely ignoring it. If you get free comments on a video, unless they are like unnecessary hate comments, you need to reply to all three of those comments. Personally, when I upload a new video, I make sure to reply to all of the comments within the first day and as well as that, I will also reply to anything on social media. If you do that, then people will feel a lot more connected with you and it will also entice them to actually comment on your next video. Also relating to this tip, you want to make Make sure that you are active on social media, especially uh, Twitter and Instagram for designers. And on there, you also want to make sure that you are connecting with new people. A great example of this would be replying to someone's design on Twitter and leaving some positive feedback. If you do that consistently, then a lot of the time people will see that you are active and normally return the favor. Just don't DM them and ask for like a sub for sub or like a shout out or something. If that is you, by the way, I do not like you. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. Hopefully you did go on to enjoy. Once again, a massive thank you to Moz for being in the video. If you do want to check out his channel, it will be linked in the description down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Also, if you would like to see more graphic design videos in the future, then please subscribe to the channel with post notifications on and you will be notified when I upload. Load. Finally, if you are looking to improve any of your graphic design skills, then make sure to check out my design store. Over there, I have a load of Photoshop packs that I personally use for my designs and they will certainly help you. So if you are interested in checking that out, the link will be in the description down below. As I said, hopefully you did enjoy. This has been Visual or James Animal. Peace.